Today we join Raymond and his friends as they make beer. First, listen for why Raymond is nervous. Ray, how are you? Good, good. Let's bring some beer. I'm a bit nervous because uh, a lot of things can go wrong. He's nervous because a lot of things can go wrong. Something that goes wrong, doesn't work in the way you expect, or becomes a problem. So, what can go wrong? You're very unfamiliar to me. I've never seen, I've never seen uh, brewing before. I, and I read that the beer can actually get infected. So we have to clean everything first. That can be quite dangerous if, if we don't know they're infected and we drink it. How much? The beer can get infected with germs and make you sick. So they'd better follow the instructions. It was Daniel who followed the instructions to the letter. He says Daniel followed the instructions to the letter. To follow instructions to the letter is to do exactly what they say with attention to every detail. Looks great. But something went wrong. The instructions were <laughs> pretty clear, but well, we made a few mistakes. Oh, yeah, we'll, just, we'll try to put it in, and I think we're just going to have to put it in as a paste. We were supposed to mix uh, sugar at the beginning with hot water. The more sugar you put in, the more alcohol you get. <laughs> exactly. We just uh, mixed in, like, a couple of litres of hot water with sugar. So it will, it will make the beer lighter, but hopefully it will t still taste good. I like light beer anyway. <laughs> That's not exactly following the instructions to the letter. What else could go wrong? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hang on. That's not Thank good. You. <laughs> Hopefully, we don't get a lot of bacteria into the, the beer, so we, we can drink it. It's like delicate surgery. <laughs> In the next six days, my apartment's gonna smell bad. <laughs> Beautiful. We've done it. All right, fantastic. Uh, I feel like a beer. <laughs> I don't think I can wait a week. All right. Notice that he says, I feel like a beer. This is a short way of saying a glass of beer. You also say, a coffee, for a cup of coffee. So it's been eight days. Green and, and yellow. yellow. It means uh, we have beer. And uh, we're, we're going to bottle the beer now. Should we try some? All right, if you want to. Yeah. It's like pineapple juice. Can you, you do the honours? No, no. You do the honours. Are you sure? Right. This means, have the privilege of the first taste. It tastes like. It's actually pretty good. It's flat beer. Really? Yeah. Oh, cool. it tastes nice. It's good. Beautiful. Oh, from what I understand, uh, from the the house expert Daniel, <laughs> he said that uh, it's gonna undergo like a secondary uh, fermentation. So, what's the beer like after it's been in the bottle? I'm nervous. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to taste like, but hopefully it's going to taste good. So, boys, <laughs> it's been five weeks, and it's time for us to try our beer. This is really the first time. I wasn't tempted, but I'm scared to have a taste. <laughs> ah, good fizz, beautiful. <laughs> it's looking good. <laughs> it's an amber nectar. Right. <laughs> Before we have a taste, let's have a cheers. OK. Cheers to the success what? of our beer. Oh. <laughs> Great good. Okay, we don't know that yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it was good, it was good. It's not the type of beer that I would normally drink. I reckon you pass. For a first time, it's pretty good. It's good, it's good. I think it's great. It's an acquired taste. <laughs> <laughs> it's an acquired taste. That means it tastes bad now, but you could get to like it. We'll finish with a polite way of saying something tastes OK. It's not bad. There you go. Cheers to that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs>